Okay, today is the 2nd of January, 2024, and um, today I am starting a daily ritual from 3am to 7am that ideally I will execute every day before going to work. So I go to work about, you have to start getting ready about 7 o'clock to go to work, and I finish work at about uh, 2 o'clock as a postman, right? And that's, that's a job I've only started in the last there's almost two months I've been there, right? But uh, I haven't been getting anything done outside of work, really. Um, and that's been okay because it because it's a new job and it's quite stressful learning a new job in a way. I just wanted to focus on getting that done. And then when I got home, I just was sort of getting home and kind of just crashing out, uh, you know, not getting much done. Um and there was a quote from a guy called Dan Co, uh, which stuck in my head a lot from last year, which was, if you don't create a routine, you will be assigned one. And um, that means, like, basically you have to have some kind of routine in your life. I, mean, I noticed that last year. I did th Last year I didn't have a job, and I didn't really have a routine that was, like, daily. Like a, It wasn't like a ritual. Like... I th uh, so I would get some work done, uh, say, I would work on my self-employed stuff for a bit, but then when I got it done, I would kind of just default into nothing. And that's not really bad when I was doing that, because then you just like, I was just wasting time distracting myself. And it's really, really bad. Um, but that is why I think I needed to get a job. And I think uh, a lot of people, j just jobs are actually good for them. I think I'd... Uh, including myself, I mean, I think they because they give you a structure and uh, that can be good. And uh, But it reminded me that I, I would like to have that same kind of uh, feeling that I get with that going to work, have that same ritual uh, in my self-employed work. So that the quote again is, if you don't create a routine, you will be assigned one. And... I so basically, I was I worked thirty hours a week, so I was like, well, obviously I'm going to be doing that every week. That's going to take up like a certain amount of time, but I can also create a daily ritual that uh, will be cover all my self-employed stuff. And uh, at first, I w I thought it would be good to do it say after work because because I have to do gigs on the weekend. Then I'm obviously my sleep pattern is going to be going to bed at midnight at least a couple of days a week right so obviously logically it sort of seems like a better time to do work uh, self-employed work after work but I actually thought about it and I was like you know I'd rather get it done before I go to work because then you know that it's done um, even if I have to get up really early and occasionally I'm gonna have a bad sleep pattern it's something about the time like it's 4 45 a.m now right and I just feel like this is like a kind of magical time because everyone's asleep and I'm not I'm not worried about like say people who are messaging me at the moment or say missing out on say because like sometimes like on on Facebook they offer gigs on Facebook Messenger right and if this was in the afternoon some part of me would be like thinking I should really like to go and check for gigs or if, even if it's not that, it's like you think that maybe this someone might have messaged you, and you just you, you I just can't help thinking about it during the day. But when it's four forty-five, you're like, well, everyone's asleep, and uh, it means I'll have to get up at three a.m. But um, if I can do this for thirty days, then uh, and then I think that I would continue it or or at least at least some kind maybe maybe move it instead of having four hours have two hours or something but anyway today so I did I, I split the day I split today up into eight uh, 25 minute sections as the timer running there so and that's like eight pomodoros they call it 25 minute on the timer and I just split it into um, eight things that it's like I know that I can execute because before like yeah before I was kind of telling myself oh, I should work on my album 
that was just in my head when I was like doing uh, as a job doing my postman job like I was thinking when I get home I should work on my album but then I'd get home and I wasn't really sure what I was exactly doing and I didn't really want to do it and I would just end up just sort of doing other stuff and just basically avoiding it and I and I built a bit just built up a, like a lot of uh, overwhelm around it but I split the day up into eight sections which is so 25 minutes journaling or doing a sort of release meditation breath work type thing uh, then the next 25 minutes of songwriting and I just did that and that felt great as well because I I haven't I haven't like been writing songs for a couple of months or three months now it's, it's so uh, weird how that can happen how even when I, I think I, I I love like songwriting and it's my favorite thing I just you can just stop doing it for a few months or even stop doing it for years and then eventually it gets sort of you, you get annoyed by it I get annoyed by it and I was like well I've got it. every day I want to do 25 minute songwriting you have no excuse for not doing that if it's something that I like so journaling songwriting then 25 minutes of writing which is what I just did where I basically wrote out this video and it and obviously on it uh, it's just some kind of writing like on another day I, instead of doing like this type of video I might do something for my podcast or I might just do you know some other type of but it has to be writing and then the next 25 minutes is working on so i've got i've got i got three i got four like sort of channels on the internet which is consistent songwriter the next one is tommy call music the other one's tommy call podcast and then the fourth one is tommy gallagher music which is like a cover trying to get covers gig so I've, there's like four sections so I, and then i've so i've split like four for each of those it's a 25 minute section so it's it's just something where my brain can um like i took a while like it took me a few hours to come up with this um i think it's important to come up with, with a plan that you, you kind of you, you look at and you like you think oh, i can i can i can definitely execute that i mean it won't be really really easy but uh, it, it's something that I it's like easy enough for me to think even on a bad day I think I can execute that 25 minutes of each of my channels and then finish with 25 minutes of kind of shallow general work where you just kind of look you know on your to-do list where you just have things to do uh, but yeah I like I, I think I can do that and there was a book called Flow where they uh, the guy in the book was like uh you've got to, uh, if you've got some kind of a plan or a ritual that you want to execute, think you've got to come up with something which is not too boring, but not too anxiety provoking. Like if you make it, if you make it too, too hard, you'll, you'll fail. But if you make it too easy, it becomes boring. So that seems like something which is like, you know, four hours of, of work on uncovering like everything in my life, pretty much, even, even though it's only 25 minutes of each one it's focus work and um it's amazing how doing that every day it can add up because i i think i add, i added up the if i actually if i actually did this every single day i would get more work done than i did last year uh per week then i and i didn't even have a job last year and that just shows how much time can easily be wasted that I can waste if, 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 if I don't have a routine so um, if I do if I commit to this like four hour thing every day and I do it then the great thing about that is I could like uh, I could basically come home and I, I could, after work I could just go to the gym and just know in my head that that is it for the day I don't have to do anything if I don't want to I hate that feeling of like feeling every single day for months and months you think everything every you're kind of telling yourself oh i should sort of i should get some i should get something done uh, and then you don't do it and you just distract yourself and that that those that those feelings build up it feels awful but i like that feeling of like like when i when i finish my uh postman job when i finish my shift i like that feeling of oh i'm done uh, and i want to have that same feeling for my self-employed life just just so i can kind of be like oh i'm done now that's a nice feeling, like it's like dopamine that I can kind of chase. Um, so I'm going to try and sort of keep these uh, videos to 10 minutes, so I'll leave it there. Catch you, t catch you tomorrow.